In this video, we're going to walk through all the different ways you can export data from your Bubble application, because you may be missing out on helpful integration opportunities. These can help you automate your systems and scale your app to working with higher volumes of data. We'll first start by talking about the manual ways you can export your data. The first is directly through your editor. So as the owner, builder of your application, as an admin of the app, you have access to your entire database directly inside of the editor. And there is an option to specifically export that information table by table, or in bubble terms, data type by data type. So when I go to export, for example, my table of users, I have the option to create a CSV file. That way you can put it into a spreadsheet. It's one of the most common formats. Uh, or to a JSON file, which is a more uh, friendly way of sending structured data uh, records to various systems. A lot of web applications will uh, organize their data really behind the scenes in a JSON structure. It's just a very easy way to understand records that have multiple properties within them. Bubble's going to send you a link to your email so that you can download the file and do whatever you want with it from there. The next option is to give your users the ability to download a CSV file themselves just by interacting with your app. So they're not going into your editor, but rather they're clicking on a button, for example, or an icon. And that will trigger a workflow that Bubble has specifically for this to generate a CSV file that will automatically trigger a download to their computer. And you can, of course, configure what data is included in that file. Now, of course, don't forget about the plugin marketplace. There are many different tools you can add to your app to create additional capabilities, including exporting data. Uh, these plugins can give you a variety of formats that you can play around with, just different levels of customizations. Here in the plugin search window, I can type in export and I can see what all of my options are. Uh, some might be free, some might be paid. You're just going to have to explore and see what works best for you, what you're looking for uh, to work well with your application. But this is a, a handy area to check out as well uh, in case you're looking for something a little bit more unique or something that needs more customization control. Hey, real quick, if you're finding this useful so far, then I have a free extended training that I want you to head to next. It's over at coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop. And in this free extended training, you're going to learn the necessary individual steps you need to go from idea to app. You'll learn things like scoping your application properly, development methodologies, starting to use no-code tools like the Bubble platform, and you'll also get to see what other non-tech founders are building for their first app. So you can find that over at coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop and head over there next after this video. Now let's talk about how to automate exporting your data from your Bubble app. There are many ways that you can accomplish this, but most of the time you're going to work with APIs. APIs are how applications can communicate with each other. So this is great if you need to have exports happening on a recurring basis, on some schedule, some frequency, uh, and or if you have a high volume of data that needs to be uh, moved around from one location to another. And that way, you don't necessarily need to have somebody babysitting this whole process. So the first uh, capability here is that every Bubble app comes with two API endpoints. You have your workflow API and your data API. These are areas that you need to enable. So if I check these boxes here, um, now I'm exposing those uh, endpoints for my application. And external systems can communicate with me um, through these API connections. You'll notice that Bubble has given me a privacy warning, letting me know that, hey, if you're going to expose your data in this way, got to make sure that you apply uh, privacy rules on it just for uh, to make sure that you know the right people are authenticating. So you do have a lot of layers of security that you can apply here. This is if you want an external system to retrieve data from you. So if there is a schedule on their end uh, that they can trigger automatically, they can communicate with your app either via your workflow API or your data API. It's two different ways of retrieving information from your application. You have um, some nuanced areas there to help customize what gets sent over to those external systems. Now, of course, you can trigger the data exports from your application out. Uh, to other systems. You don't always have to wait for another system to come and retrieve that data from you. The best tool for that is the API connector. This is a really powerful plugin that Bubble has where you can create API integrations in general with other systems. So it's not just for exporting data, um, but you can actually communicate in both directions. You can retrieve information from other systems. This is kind of like creating a, a private plugin for your own app uh, so that you can use in an automated way 
and or you can have your users trigger these API requests within your own designs. It's a very powerful and very flexible section um, of the editor that gives you um, a lot of additional integration opportunities here. So for example, if I connect with Google Sheets, I can have data from my database being sent to a Google Sheet and actually create new rows, modify values in the different cells. Um, I have a connection here to uh, Dropbox. So from my application, if users are uploading files, I can also send them over to you know, a file storage solution like Dropbox or Google Drive or Box or any one of those systems. As long as those external systems offer an API, you can connect to it and send the data over uh, according to your own logic. Now here's another handy tool that we're looking at. This is the Bubble App Connector. Uh, this is another plugin that Bubble has for us, and this will help you uh, send data from one Bubble application to another Bubble application. At the end of the day, this is just another API connection. You can get the same result by using the API connector that we just talked about, but this is essentially a little shortcut that Bubble has available for us to make things a little bit easier. Uh, this is not just for data connections. You can also uh, trigger workflows from one application in another. Uh, and this is taking advantage of those API endpoints that we talked about, the workflow API and the data API. You can add layers of security here so that only the right you know, information is accessible. But uh, don't forget about this tool, especially if you have multiple bubble apps and want to move data between them. The SQL Database Connector or SQL Database Connector is another plugin that Bubble has available here for you, just like the API Connector and the Bubble App Connector, to communicate data from your app database to these external databases that uh, will take SQL queries. So if, you, if that's a part of your um, operation, then this is a very handy tool for that. And you'll notice, again, that these are technically plugins that you have to add to your app. So don't forget about this marketplace. There are many additional tools that you can add to your app to help you move data around. And finally, remember that uh, while all of these tools will help you create the connection, it is up to you to create the logic around the schedules for automatically exporting the data. Your backend workflows or your workflow API is really where you're going to set up uh, that system. This is where you can create recursive flows flows that can happen automatically on whatever frequency you'd like on a daily, monthly, weekly, hourly basis. It's up to you to create that timing to trigger whatever sort of action you need. Maybe you're triggering an API call that you've set up in the API connector. Maybe you're triggering a call through the bubble app connector. So again, even though you have all of these different tools for creating those connections, it still is up to you to create the logic to um, determine when this all happens, what data is involved, what the security layers are, and so on. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, definitely check out the content you see on the screen right now. These videos will help you better build and launch your app and a lot more quickly too.